What's up all you filthy animals? Uh, I really, really, really can say that I like this shit. Uh, so far we are, what was it? I'm like, I didn't bring that much ammo. Honestly, I actually brought plenty of ammo, but they rejected my, I forgot I brought a bunch of uh, the green tip and my range lets me go full retard burst firing, simulate auto fire. But they won't let you use anything that's magnetic, like the steel core shit, which for me is irrelevant. Like, I'm sure someone can come up with some theory that says it's worse for the indoor range, but uh, I can't think of one. Uh, so this guy here, the recoil impulse is definitely different. Uh, I've shot a lot of piston guns. This one is its own animal. Uh, as much as this thing has, uh, has its gas block and once it gets pushed back the gas can just come out didn't feel anything hit me in the face uh the handguard was not getting incredibly hot fast um uh, i need to work on accuracy i'm sure because uh you know just to see what it's capable of this thing threw some fireballs with especially with this this break is a four port so i've got some still frames on my wife shooting that thing is just start out as can be just boom like i did it in slow-mo so i can catch those fireballs and I, I forgot that this brake has four ports and it exposes it it's great uh recoil impulse is soft i did try going from wide open to here and then here and i want to say the second setting um, oh man i'm gonna put it on video uh you'll you'll be able to see it the third setting click click this way that bitch wouldn't even eject the fucking dead shell because it's made for suppressor right here on wide open it is soft like incredibly soft it's gassed very very well uh it is new i have not lubed it and not broken it in so i think one i, th I want to say one of them like it, i want to say it kicked out and didn't pick a round up some stupid shit like that no big deal. It's new. It's getting broken. I'm fine with it. And factory loads, you don't know if you might have one that's short on, on powder. Like, it's just the facts of life when you buy bulk shit, especially at a cheap deal. So, um, otherwise, man, uh, if you had any doubts about buying one of these for some reason, just fucking do it. Like, it is. I mean, that right there, I don't know if you can hear that, but, like, they gave me the new sled and charging handle before I even fired it. And the new sled, I don't know if it's thicker or anything different, but it definitely had a smoother finish. So it's definitely not gritty at all for me there. It's, it's, you can, man, I just, this, I'm liking this. PSA nailed it at the ballpark with this thing for offering something that, you know, I've seen guys go, just get a BRN 180, bro. Well, now if I want to get a BRN 180, I would like to have one to collect, but why in the fuck do I want a right side charging handle? If I want that, I'll get a god dang AK. You know what I mean? Now, nah, BRN 180s are cool. I do want ones for shits and grins, but I don't think it compares to this because of the right side reciprocating charging handle. That's not something I want on an AR myself. Uh, but this thing, man, it did great. Like, like I said, just that one little issue with that one round. I uh, would like to get a CNC Warrior brace on it. Uh, otherwise, check out the footage. You'll be able to see me shoot this son of a bitch. And, you know, I wasn't doing it, but really just function checking. I wasn't going for accuracy. Just trying to see if it's going to work, how it feels, how the recoil is, how the impulse is, follow-up shots. It's very nice. So, you know, yeah, check it out. Ready? All right. First shots with the Jackal. Ever. Since I've owned it. So, let's see how it does. Let's see here. Go. I 
different gas adjustment. See what that does. That thing didn't even kick the shell out. All right, what'd you think about my shitty audio? You can hear bangs and can't hear me talk at all. So, you know, it was an indoor range thing. I just wanted to go shoot some shit. It's been too long. I can't get out to my place that I shoot at on Buddy's property up north. It's, it's shit, kind of shit drive, especially with construction to the area. And, and uh, I just need all day to be able to do that. And I don't have all day very often these days because I'm basically right now, this time of year, I'm doing three jobs and one of them's on the weekend, but that's how I'm affording all my stupid shit. So, um, uh, negatives and positives dudes i ain't no fucking bitch man if you guys don't like this shit for some reason tell me why in the comments just so i, I, I want to know your opinion your opinion is valuable to me you know if you just don't fucking like psa because you don't like them okay that's whatever that's how you feel i'm okay with it i fucking hate sig because you know they're coded as some some guys think they're like some high-end shit and they've released some absolute piles of garbage and actually saw uh, one of the sig handguns uh accidental discharge up in Canada, capped uh, one of their Mounties or something. I don't know. I saw a little glimpse of him. Like, great. Not even surprised. Every now and then you see a SIG goes off, drop, gets dropped something. Somebody gets hurt. Like, it's just, SIG is, it's how, you, how you SIG fanboys just ride them on, I don't know, because they've made some absolute piles of shit that if other companies that you don't like even a little bit did, you would shit all over those motherfuckers, man. Like, you guys got problems. You know what I mean? That's just I'm just being real. Like you guys will shit all over anybody, like you're on some high horse whenever you represent a manufacturer that has made some fucking abominations, some piles of shit. So do what you do. Just be aware that people like me, you know, was that a Pepperidge Farm remembers? So yeah, uh, definitely give me feedback, guys. If you haven't, give me a follow, please do. I know I, I follow people. And I don't ever follow up with their shit, but having the subscribes work. Uh, I'm not on YouTube all that much, like, to follow who I subscribe to, because I just, my brain's all over the place. I know there's some of y'all like that. If you can tolerate my ugly face and my shit voice. Uh, 
But yeah, man, thank you guys. For those of you, that 3,000 of you that helped me from day one to now, uh, thank you guys. And all those future subscribers, man. Uh, it's nice. I don't plan on this channel becoming anything special. It's taken me three years to hit 3,000 followers due to my own personal taking only God knows how, uh, God knows how long off because of just, I change hobbies, uh, with the habits. I, I get burnt out on shit. I, my brain is a very, very different one. I have a ton of hobbies and spend a lot of money on a lot of stupid shit outside of just guns. So that's another reason why I have slowed down and I'm just now getting back into it. So you'll get to see plenty more. I'm sorry the content isn't as good as some of my old stuff. I definitely feel it was better. But yeah, back to this thing because I talk too much about stupid shit all the time. Uh, don't be scared to get one. Like, I want to say one guy, he made a claim, said something about, oh, the dagger, um, dagger, the jackal had this and that problem, but it couldn't show proof. It was some guy at a range type excuse story. And there's those of us that's two way street. People say, oh, my buddy's got this and that, and it had such and such problem, and it was XX brand, and they'll shit on it and bash it, but they have no proof. And the fact and reality is, believe nothing you hear and only half what you see, especially on the fucking internet. So, you know, my brother's uncle's cousin's sister's aunt's boyfriend had this problem. I don't, no one gives a shit. Um, so, so far with this, I would like to change this. That's it. Uh, and get some irons. Like, this thing is great. Like, if somebody has tempted to get one of these, and if you have the cash, fucking do it. Uh, like I said, the recoil impulse is excellent. I do hope to do some accuracy testing and more review on it later. But hopefully this is a little something for y'all to watch that's horrible trash quality audio. And, uh, you know, you can't hear me talk about it. Not that my voice is all that desirable. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, this thing, price point turn out great like for 1100 bucks you get a very nice dedicated setup that's monolithic piston like i i really don't know if psa could have done any better on this to be honest like it, it's a great it's a nice system uh price point i wouldn't mind it being cheaper but the badass part is you can buy the upper and the build kit for it and everything is there to slap on your existing lower and you can get into one of these for a lot cheaper than 1100 bucks man so Keep that in mind for those of you that some of y'all are cool like like that. You're like, I just need this fucking, I just need a different upper. I got one lower, I can have 20 uppers. I, I have to have a lower for every upper just because that's just how I am, you know, because I'm a dumbass. Uh, it's just what I do. Now, uh, some of y'all are on a budget. Some of y'all just don't care to have but one lower or whatever, you know, do what y'all do. But get in there, get after it, get one, and... If you have one, comment. Say, do you agree? Is yours a piece of shit? Or you're just like, dude, I wish I'd have got one of you sooner? Like, let me know. All right. Catch y'all next time.